All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good weekend. Today, I just want to talk about different wire sizes, gauges of wire. So yellow, Romex, that's size 12. As you can see, actually, this is a 12.3 because there's three wires in here. This is a the 12 gauge. And then you got the white, the white one is a 14 gauge. It's a little bit smaller. Um, so it starts out the bigger number is smaller so 14 is smallest well they're smaller than 14 but the ones i'm showing you are 14 is smallest and then 12 the smaller number is actually bigger and then this is 10 another smaller number if that makes sense closer to zero um, this is bigger than the yellow so this is a 10 gauge um that's just some tubing but then there's also the um, this is uh, metal sheathing, they call it MC, stands for metal clad. Um, that's the outside of it, and then this is just a jacket, but the wire inside, usually when you cut it, it's crimped off like that, so you can't really see it, but this just looks like a 12-2 or a 14-2. You have to open it up, and that's pretty sharp but it looks like a, tw I think that's a 12. So anyways, there's different sizes in that. So um, they usually have it labeled. This like one black stripe means it's just, just a two wire. And then if you look over here, this one has a red and a blue, which means there's four wires inside, I believe. It's been a while since I've used this. Usually black means uh, uh, two sets of wires. Black and red means three sets of wires, and then black, red, and blue means four sets of wires. So each one of these colors represents a color inside of the wire. So there's a black wire, red wire, and a blue wire. And then, uh, of course, your white and your ground. So there's five total wires in here, but they usually don't count the ground. So it's just going to be a, this is a 12 wire. It'll be a 12-4, right? 12-4? And if it's a 14, then it'll be a 14-4. So I think I'm explaining that right. So black is a 12-2, black and red is 12-3, black, red, and blue is 12-4. So depending on what size it is, of course. But um, this is the main type of wire that we use. The Romex is the plastic sheathing for indoors in the wood. So here's some more wire right here. Here's the wire I was telling you, the black and red. So. Um, you look at here this looks like a 14 nice and small um, black and red you got your black wire and your red wire so that corresponds to the colors on the outside right there but what I was trying to explain was uh, the Romex the plastic sheathing wire is usually for just inside in uh, wood wooded areas and then you get the MC wire is usually for um, with metal ceilings drop ceilings and stuff like that just to protect the wire sometimes it goes outside or stuff like that so it just depends what the job site calls for sometimes this might all all be required to be an mc it just depends on the specifics of the job so um but usually an mc is for metal buildings where you have metal studs and stuff like that so um just more protection and stuff like that sharp, sharp edges of the metal so Anyways, this is um, the C-Wing where they are finished basically. But anyways, just wanted to give you guys a little um, little video on wire sizes and stuff like that. I'll probably try to throw something in for the bigger sizes of wire, but um, it starts out um, really small. The one I showed you was 14 and then it goes down to 12, 10, it goes uh, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1, and then once it gets down to one, it basically starts going back up in a different size. It goes uh, one aught, two aught, three aught, four aught, and then it goes, once it gets super big, it goes like uh, KCMLs. So like 250 is like whatever this big, and then 500 KCMLs, like a 50 cent piece or whatever. So just keeps getting bigger and bigger and stuff like that. So I'll try to throw some in there if I can find it. But anyways, Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. I'm trying to think of some vi things to make videos about. So if you have any uh, things you want videos about, let me know. I know I have a, f a few in my list already. But uh, anyways, trying to think of video, vi video ideas. Just trying to maybe explain some stuff. Maybe possibly go over some things in the code book. Or 
um, just how to wire stuff. So uh, let me know what you think, what you guys want to see. Catch you guys tomorrow. God bless and awesome rest of your day. Peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and check out the description for more information on social medias and stuff like that. Thanks, guys. See you later. Peace. So here's some of the scrap wire. Uh, I'll try to show you some of the different sizes. So this looks like a 250 right here. It's a little bit smaller. And you got this big one right here. I'll try to show you. I'll try to compare them. So it's like a 250 maybe, and this one's a 500. So it's about the size of a quarter, a little bit bigger. So. That's probably a 500. That's probably a 250. So, um, KC Mills. So, just trying to show you guys a little bit different sizes here. So, these are mostly all the same, but, anyways, you get the idea. Alright, so you thought the video was over, but it's not. So, I'm going to try to see if I can remember off the top of my head where this uh, wire size is. Um, this is the code book right here. It's probably like 800 pages or something. But you have all these tabs right here. You can uh, easily find what you're going to, what you're looking for for the most part. Um, I think it's two. Uh, let me see. It's two hundred or three hundred something. So uh, it's been about two years. So give me a minute here. But uh, let's see what we can do. I just want to be real with you and see if we can find the conductor capacity. Here we go. There it is. So. Not too bad to find. So as you can see right here, uh, it stops at 18. That's about the smallest. But if you look at the end of your strippers, it can go up to size 22, 20, 18, 16, 14. It usually stops at 8. Uh, but this is the smallest size, 18. And then it gets bigger, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then it starts getting bigger, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. And then what I showed you, 250, and then probably 500 right there. So the numbers keep getting bigger. 250, 300, 354, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 1250, 1500, 1750, 2000. I've never seen anything bigger than a 750, I don't think so. Um, but anyways, that's just an idea of the wire sizes. Um, they each have their own ampacity. So the 12 gauge copper is 20 amps. 10 gauge, 25, size 8 wire, 50, and so on. And then if, as far as aluminum, um, it usually is a little bit less. So at eight, size 8 copper, or eight, number 8 aluminum has less ampacity. So um, you usually have to upscale if you're using aluminum. You have to get a bigger size if you're trying to match the copper or whatever. So as you can see, uh, number 8 copper is for 50 amps and the Number eight aluminum is for 40 amps, so uh, aluminum has like a bigger resistance or something like that, so that's why. So anyways, hope this helps you out, gives you a little bit idea about wire sizes and stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed the video. All right, now it's over. See you guys. Thanks for watching.